Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be doing a testing and overview of my new mini voice evacuation system featuring my Notifier RM-1SA remote microphone station and my Wheelock E50 series red multi-candela speaker strobe. So, let's dive right in. So as you could hear, there is now a small speaker strobe system set up down here. So that is way out there by my notification appliances. That is the Wheelock E50 Series Red Multi Candela Speaker Strobe that is set on 15 Candela. And then coming over here, this is the actual remote microphone station. It sits in a normally locked red cabinet. Open it up and it features things like emergency microphone power, microphone trouble, and then a slide in label. This is where you'd put in what speakers this microphone will activate because you can use these to talk to only select speakers, such as a certain floor, certain stairwell, or certain area of a building, and talk to participants within them to instruct them on certain safety issues. So the way that I have this wired up is coming into the back, I'll take it off in a minute so you can see all the terminals, but coming into the back, into my 24 volt input, it's just a 24 volt power supply from a random DC adapter, and so it's not supervised. This is not tied into any fire alarm panel I have. This is its own panel, basically. From the microphone coming down into the push to talk relay, the push to talk relay, so the way this works is there's this button on here. And pushing that is what actually will turn on the microphone and allow you to, well, talk. So I'm going to see if I can get my microphone really close. But if you can hear... you can actually hear the little relay going inside. So the push to talk relay does two things. The first thing that it does is it interrupts the audio through feed. So the audio to all the speaker strobes first goes through all these boxes. And what will happen is when you push the button, it will cut into that audio feed and override it with what is happening through the microphone, turning off the audio through feed until you release the button. This will also activate a separate relay so you can have either normally open or normally close option, a separate relay just on its own for auxiliary operations. That is what I have my strobe and amplifier going through. I did have to buy a small amplifier for that because, I mean, it worked just coming out of here, but it wasn't loud enough for me. I like it loud. So I bought just a cheap little $6 amp off of eBay. And it's actually, I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to, but it actually just sits right in here. It's just a cheap, stupid little amp. And that just adds to my power supply. So that push to talk really controls my amp and power supply. Then going down, I have nothing going into my audio in, nothing going into my trouble relays. And then audio out is basically just plus and minus into the plus and minus of the speaker strobe. So what happens is normally the strobe is off and everything. But when you push the button, it will start the strobe and activate the amplifier. So the strobe continues to flash and audio is active, but even if you don't talk into it, the strobe will continue to flash. It's just as long as you have the button pushed in. Now you aren't able to talk into the microphone until the button is pushed. And the microphone trouble on here, I'll just hit this real quick, is basically the actual microphone is supervised so if there's not enough power going to the whole unit or if the microphone has been cut, oops, the microphone trouble light will come on and it will send a trouble to the main panel. But again, this isn't connected to its own panel. It's kind of its own thing. So what I'll actually do is real quick, I will take the front panel off so you can see the back because it's actually it. It all, to me, it feels like cards on like a simplex, like a, the older simplex panels that use the cards, the zone cards and NAT cards and everything. I really want to get one of those panels, like a 2008. I really want to get one, but they're really expensive and really rare. So I wanted to have this screwed in while I used it so I don't rip it off of the thing Well, I have microphone going because I'm clipping it in and off because the clip is hooked up to this part I'm taking off. 
Like you can literally take off just the whole microphone unit and then just have an empty box, which is actually the original purpose I was gonna buy this for, was just for the box to keep sprinkler heads in it. And then I realized it's not that hard to just hook up a speaker strobe to it. So I did. So this is the microphone card inside. Up here, this is your input power. And then this is just a jumper I have going for my strobe because that's what's being cut off my input power through the push to talk relay. So this is your input power. This is your trouble relay. This is your push to talk relay, your audio through, and then your low level audio out. And you can see the two LEDs are up there. And I'm trying to think, is there really anything else inside? These are your microphone connections. And if you push, you can actually hear the uh, relay a lot better. Let me get close again. So you can hear the relay going inside. So that is the inside of the card. The whole thing comes out and then all the terminal blocks come out so you can wire up everything and then push it all in to the cabinet. So let's go ahead and attempt to do this with one hand. Screwing this in. We're bracing for the snowstorm here. We were supposed to get about a foot of snow here in less than 24 hours. Run all my emergency lighting tests to make sure, well, all my emergency lights work to make sure that they are lasting for as long as they are rated for. And the way I did that is I simply cut AC power and then ran a timer and that's really all you can do. I'm sorry half this video is just like me putting in screws. I'm too lazy to edit this part out because that requires actual effort. But you get a little bit of fun narrative. So anyhow, once I get this back on, I will do a demo evacuation. Like I basically just have one of the, I think it might even be the Wheelox evacuation script memorized. I am looking at some point, I gotta figure out how to do this using my relays, but I do want to set up pre-programmed messages into here and tie it in through the amp. So that way when a pull station or anything is pulled, it will activate the speaker strobe and play the message. But I gotta figure out how to do that first. I'm guessing something with a thumb drive and some sort of something, I don't really know. But let's actually do a voice evacuation. So you'd start with cabinet locked, put your key in and turn up, which is weird. I kept on turning down and almost snapped the key off in here. Then you grab your mic, push your button, and you just begin talking. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? A fire emergency has been reported in this building. Please use your designated evacuation route and meet at your assigned rally point and await further instructions. Do not use the elevators. Take the stairs. Do not use the elevators. Take the stairs. Thank you. So that's just a sample voice evacuation on it. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.